let's take a look at my top 20 free mixing plugins for 2023. Hey, what's up, my friend? The Chris Lim here from Mix Down Online. Exciting video for you today because we are going to take a look at free plugins. Now, I made free mixing plugins videos in the past years, and every time I made one of these videos, I never talked about a free plugin that I covered in an older video. So if you want to watch those free plugin videos, I'm going to leave them down below. I also made sure that these free plugins are supported on Windows and Mac, and that also means Mac with silicon chips. So I made sure of that because this is what I'm using on my side. Now I'm going to leave all the links down below and know that for most of them, you'll have to enter your email uh, to get access to the free plugin. Okay, so this is something pretty normal. Now let's take a look at the first plugin on the list. And this one is called the Extressor Nuke. It's a distressor type compressor when you put the distressor in nuke mode, uh, which is like super intense. And this is what we get. So I have it straight on a drum bus. These are good, especially on drums for parallel processing, uh, like I'm actually gonna show you right now. So I have three types of release time. Let's keep this one to fast and see how it sounds like. I just added a bunch of compression and I'm actually uh, using the mix button right here. So I blend the dry signal with the fully compressed signal uh, and that actually gives me a more uh, kind of punchy and live sound. So I kind of accentuate a lot of the, um, the sustain of those drums. So way more upfront. So this is the Extressor Nuke. And again, I like to use it as a parallel compressor. The next one on the list is the Comper. This is by Analog Obsession. Now, this is a very nice compressor. First of all, it has uh, the three main compressor type uh, right into this plugin. So a VCA compressor, a FET compressor, like an 1176, for example, and also a Nopto type compressor, a bit like an LA2A. And the cool thing is that we have access to the two modules uh, independently. So we have the first one on top, which will then go down to the next one. So this is actually very useful on vocals, for example. You know, I like to use two compressors on my vocal, uh, one to control the peaks and the other one to level up the vocal, and this can do the job pretty well. So in this case, I'm going to start with the first compressor uh, with a FET compressor style uh, just to catch up the peaks. So I have a ratio at six to one uh, and then a fast attack, fast release just to catch up the peaks. And I just get like a couple of dBs of gain reduction, uh, maybe a bit more depending on how loud are those peaks. And then I'm going to level up with the opto style compressor, a smaller ratio like 2.5 to one ratio, uh, slower attack and a slower release, which is still a fast release. Uh, but this is going to level up the full, uh, the full vocal take. So let's have a listen. La, da, da, da. I'm the love of my life. Okay, so let's listen to this line here. I'm going to bypass the compressor. I'm the love of my life. Let's bring on the compressor. I'm the love of my life. So I'm catching up the peaks, and at the same time, I'm leveling up the full vocal sound. And this type of compressor can work well on bass, on drums. It's a very cool compressor. Now, the next compressor on the list is the MJUCR Junior. Uh, by Clam Helm. It's a very nice, simple compressor to use. Uh, good on drums, on bass, you know, just one knob, you compress, make up gain, and you select the slow, uh, fast, and auto time constant. Now, I'm not gonna play all of these plugins, and I wanna make sure this video doesn't last very long. And 
And then you have to take a look also at the Tan by Acoustica. Again, free compressor, uh, very simple to use, vintage type of vibe, kind of like this plugin too. Check it out, Tan by Acoustica. Very good compressor. It works well on drums, on vocals, bass, guitars, pretty much everything. So try it out, link is down below. Now let's look at some EQ plugins. The first one on the list, uh, it's an EQ, but you know, it's going to be a nice transition because it's a channel strip. And this one is the Frank CS again by Analog Obsession. And by the way, all of the Analog Obsession free plugins are just amazing. So on top, we have an analog type EQ. So we have a low pass, high pass filter and a three band EQ on top of that. Uh, we have also a compressor uh, part of this channel strip. And this is what it sounds like on the mix bus. Okay, so I added some EQ and also some parallel uh, compression on this drum bus by using this mix knob right here. So there you go, over compressed, uh, blend that with the dry signal and you get a pretty much in your face drum sound. Now the next on the list is the uh, Coral Baxter by Acoustica. And this is a very cool EQ, uh, good on a uh, synth on the mix bus. It actually adds some very subtle low end and top end uh, to the signal. And again, I'm telling you, it's subtle, it's very smooth and I really love it. So it's a very good way to, to add some air or a bit more body to a sound. Um, so again, it works well on uh, a mix bus, on synth vocals also. Um, so let's listen to a synth that I have right here. So I just added a bit of top end and also a bit of 100 Hertz just to beef up the, uh, the synth sound. And even if it's subtle, you can actually hear the difference and it's very smooth, love it. If we go back to the drums, we are gonna look at uh, this plugin here that is called, it's another EQ type of plugin. And this one is called Air Shelf by Bertom. Uh, very cool plugin. So this one will add some air to your sound or just tame uh, the top end of your sound if you wanna have like a more smooth, darker sound. So let's try this one on the drums. So you can tell it opens up the uh, sound, the tone of the drums, which can be pretty nice. And again, it sounds pretty smooth also. Then if we go back to our vocal, we have the Rare SE, which is a Poltec type EQ, a very nice EQ. If you want to know more about Poltec type EQs, uh, let me know. I can actually dedicate an entire video on these types of uh, passive EQs, which are very cool to work with. Again, that works well on vocals, on bass, on uh, drums, name it. So let's listen to this one on the vocal. I started losing sight my place. La there you go. So very nice analog type EQ. So again, by Analog Obsession. Now, if we look at some reverb plugins, the next on the list is the Tal Reverb 4. Now, I covered this one years ago, but they came up with an updated version of the same plugin, uh, which has more parameters and in the end sounds better. So let's have a listen to this one on the lead vocal. I'm the love of my life. La, da, da, da. Okay, it's cool because you have an EQ straight on the reverb itself, and you can also detune the reverb, which is quite cool, actually. I'm the love of my life. La, da, da, da. I started 
So, you know, maybe not suitable for everything, but you can actually be very creative with this type of uh, effect. And you can also use that ducking I'm feature. The love of my life. La, da, da, da. I started losing sight my place. Now I'm overdoing it, but this is a very cool uh, parameter for vocals. You know, if you want to keep your lead vocal up front, uh, that will duck the reverb when the vocal comes in. So that can be very useful. So that is the Tal Reverb 4. And the next one, uh, we have the uh, Verberate Basic 2. This is a one knob type reverb, very simple to use. You have the choice between plate, room, hall, a lush hall if you need like something very uh, uh, like huge and lush, you have it also. So on the drums, pretty cool for to add a kind of a room sound to the drums. And again, super easy to work with. There's one knob uh, to, uh, to blend the dry and wet signal, and that's it. So very simple to use, but sounds pretty cool. Now for delays, uh, we have uh, this one right here, uh, which is new. It's been out for maybe a few months, not even. And this is by Green Oak Software, and it's called the Tong Stan, I think. I hope I pronounced it right. It's a very creative type delay, so let's have a quick listen. So you can add some granular type of sounds to um, to the delay, which is nice. And again, that duck feature can be pretty cool. The reverse effect, which is very nice also. Make it mono, make it stereo, play with the feedback level, you know, again, a creative type delay, you know, so download it and go nuts. The next one on the list is again a delay, the Valhalla Freck Echo, simple delay uh, to work with, sounds pretty good. Let's have a listen on the lead vocal. La, da, da, da. I'm the love of my life. La, da, da, love the shift. Da, da. I started losing That's so cool. sight of my place. La, da, da, da. I'm the love of my life. La, da, da. So again, a very nice and simple delay to work with. Everything that Valhalla does sounds good. I only have the free plugins so far, but they sound fantastic. Uh, and this one is one of them. Now let's talk about saturation. Uh, we have uh, the free amp by uh, Clef Grand. Okay, so let's check this one on the bass. Very simple to work with. It's a one button drive type of saturation. Again, there's a mix knob to blend between the dry and saturated signal. Very nice plugin, the free amp, check it out. And the next one on my list, and let's add more saturation to this bass sound by adding this guy right here by Nimbrini Audio, the Minotaur. This is more of a distortion type plugin, but on bass in parallel, it sounds very good. But let's first start to listen to it on its own. This is how it sounds like. So now I have it on a parallel track to the bass and... Uh... 
sounds very good on bass. So check it out, the Nembrini Menotorn. So by Waves Factory, we have Flash, which is a very nice transient designer. So I have it on the mix bus. Very simple to use, a bit more attack to your drum sound or a snare or a kick and a bit more sustain. Pretty nice. The cool thing about this plugin is that it's a mid-side type transient designer. So meaning that you can add uh, more attack and release on the mid section, like the center of the sound, or on the sides, if you have this plugin on a stereo channel, like I have right now on the drum bus. So let's have a listen. So the sides are getting more attack and sustain. And now let's put it to the center. Now the mid section of the stereo image is getting more attack and sustain. And at 50% we have the full range basically. Very cool, and there's also a mix um, button to do parallel processing. So that is Flash by Waves Factory. Now this one is a nice clipper. It's called the K-Clip Zero by Kazrog. So same, I'm gonna put that on the drums. So this will control the peaks basically by chopping off uh, all the peaks that you know are too loud, you know, and bringing the full drum sound in this case a bit more even as far as the dynamics goes. So let me overdo it. At some point, if I you know add too much, it's gonna lack of punch, you know. And you have a very nice visual of what's happening here, which is quite nice. So again, if you want me to do a dedicated video on clipping or the difference between clipping and limiting, I'll be more than happy to make a video on that. So this is K-Clip if you're looking for a good sounding clipper. The next one on the list, and I'm just gonna go quick on this one. If you're looking for a analog type limiter, uh, we have the Frontier. Very nice limiter, uh, works well on the mix bus or on instrument uh, buses too. So you have the control on the release time and the threshold output level and you're good to go. So very simple to use. So this is Frontier, the self-adaptive limiter. Now we have another plugin by Green Oak Software, and this one is called Sysium. It's a chorus type plugin, which is pretty cool and again, very creative. And let's have a listen to this one on a mono um, synth, which is the Micro Freak. If I add the Sysium, there you go. And there's a bunch of parameters to experiment with. So for this type of sound, it's gonna add a bit more wideness. It's gonna make this sound uh, more stereo since this is a mono synth, you know? So I kinda like using these types of plugins for this purpose. Next on the list is by Baby Audio, and this one is called Pitch Drift. It's a modulation type of plugin, which can make a, uh, an instrument to stand out uh, in a mix by adding some modulation uh, to the sounds. This is how it sounds like without Pitch Drift. Okay, let's add some Pitch Drift, and I can actually work on the amount of speed and also the amount of modulation. Now I'm overdoing it. So that can be very useful to add a very nice color to a track or make an instrument pop out a bit more in the busy mix. So check it out, Pitch Drift.
Now the last on my list, and I actually covered this one before with the first version, and it's by Isotope. It's called the Imager 2. That is the second version, so that's why I'm including this one in my top 20 plugin list. It's one of the best stereo imager that I worked with so far, and it's free, okay? So let's check it out on the same synth. I'm gonna overdo it. Can bring your sound mono also. Okay, so that works well on you know these types of uh, stereo synth, uh, pad, the mix bus also. Uh, but the trick is always to be gentle, especially on the mix bus. You don't want to overdo it. Uh, but this one actually gives me a very nice transparent type of imaging, which is very nice. So I can actually push it a bit more than a stuck plugin imager, for example. This one is going to sound way more smooth. Uh, but again, on the mix bus, be gentle and it's gonna work pretty well. So check it out, Ozone Imager 2. So again, all of these plugins work on Windows and also on Mac, whether you're using the Intel chip or the uh, Silicon chip. And the links are down below. So keep me posted, let me know what you think, and enjoy your free mixing plugins. Until next time, take care and see you.